let people know who I am, because you want them to know. But the Poppy Act makes sure we cannot give names. Or you might be the 10th fastest person over 10 meters, or the 5th fastest female over 40 meters, or etc. etc. So it's anything as possible. Once you've got it on it, and it's all confidential, if you're a coach, one of 50 in your area, you'll have a profile and access. Your guys will be tested. No one else can see your guys' names. But when your guys are tested, below the surface, it makes the data richer. So your guy becomes part of the statistic, not a name. So you know that the football player you've got playing on the wing, who you think is so fast because he's lovely long hair and he runs, dashing, He's only the 20th fastest guy in the club now, all of a sudden. And it's endless the amount of them. Then some of our sports scientists have told us, well, doesn't that just be sports skills? You can do it for injury. You can develop a profile on injury, and Rick, you tell us more about that, but Rick's the expert there. But I, as a mate, they can develop a profile on the likelihood of injury, based on how much practice, on technique, and whatever. Then we should there's health norms too. If we started testing five-year-old kids, we start in terms of their BMI, in terms, we could then tell there's a relationship between their diet and disease over time. As long as you've got it and it's comparative and of course confidential. And I thought this is absolute no-brainer. I was chatting to Virgin Active yesterday. And, to, and Andrew, our sports scientist, one of the sports scientists, was saying, and by the way, if all your personal trainers used NPR, tested their clients, and let's say the goal was weight loss, they can then, over a few months, be compared to other personal trainers who are also trying to achieve weight loss with clients. And you could then say, which is the best trainer for weight loss? Based on statistics. Which is the best trainer for strength increase? Which is the best trainer for speed development? Which is, because you can't argue the stats. So if you imagine the increase in performance once you know you've been monitored. So that's what we're trying to do. It started in March, we've got, I don't know, Rick, about 500 names. So no, about 1,000. 1,000, okay, 1,000 names in the database. <coughs> Rick will tell you a bit more. The background is the SA rugby thing. It is a s service at the moment. There's no charge for it. At some point in the future, it might be monetized, but you won't be suddenly slapped with a fee or something. We just want the data. We want our brand exposed. And we want to do something significant. As a college, we're reasonably successful. We, we're, we've been around for a long time. But I want this college to be significant. In those 14 campuses we are, we exist at, we are, it's great English. In those 14 campuses, I want each one to be able to gather data and service the community there. I want the community to benefit from that data. You interpret it, we don't. So that's my side. I'll be around for a little while longer. Rick will carry on. You can ask him a few questions. He's more the detailed man. So if you ask me questions, I'll probably just say, Rick. <laughs> so please, Rick, come up and continue. Thank you.